in the whole wide world. <laughs>
Keeping up with the industry is literally so important. It's so pivotal to being successful in publishing. You have to be informed. You have to go to writers events. You have to get in the circle of writers and figure out what is going on. Talk to others on Twitter, follow other authors or writers, follow agents and editors, see what they're talking about, see what's exciting or what's funny. A long time ago, there was this big thing that happened on Twitter when authors made like a battle on whether or not they like to eat beets. But it became this big explosive thing that like everyone was tweeting about. And if you kind of followed through that chain and started seeing who was talking and what the heck was going on, I found a ton of really interesting people to follow. So sometimes keeping up with the industry is literally just about nothing. You just go online, you look for the people that are talking about the same similar things, and then you see what they're actually talking about. Sometimes it's new book deals, sometimes it's someone that got an agent, Sometimes it's a new agent that's joined the industry and they're searching for clients. There's a lot of contests that are happening where agents are offering query letter critiques or authors are offering to look at your manuscript and give you feedback. While you don't have to know everything that's going on all of the time, it is important to know some of it. And while you're doing that, you might make some really awesome connections. There's a lot of authors that I really, really looked up to as a reader and as a writer that have now become some of my friends. When you go to events, it's nice to find people that you can hang out with and just share in the excitement of the bookish industry. And also, you may never know what a connection could lead to. Because of the murder complex and all the promotion that went along with that, I went to a book signing in Chicago, and that's where I met Sasha, who is now the co-author of Zenith, and this book is leading me to entirely different things. You never know where a connection that seems really small at the time could actually end up leading you to. And tip number four is... I learned this year especially that sometimes you just have to take a break. For so long I was so focused on that whole staying relevant thing that it was like go, 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 go all of the time. I didn't really stop to think about taking care of myself, pulling my mind away from the book industry, which is beautiful and awesome and amazing, but it also can be a really stressful place. So this year especially I learned the importance of taking a break pulling myself away from the industry. I now do absolutely nothing bookish on the weekends. And that may not work for everyone, but for me, it was really important to just give myself a couple of days each week to take a deep breath and remember that I am not publishing. I am not my books. I am a person who loves publishing and I love my books, but I also love other things. And taking time away from your books sometimes will give you more excitement to get back into them when your break is over. And last but not least, the final tip is... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that helped in some small way. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments, what's your favorite tip? Do you have any tips that you found that help you succeed in publishing? Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, I am here every Tuesday and Friday and I will see you guys next week. I love you, God loves you. Don't forget to love yourself. Bye.